Today, we were able to catch up with Congressman Rodney Davis. We took the opportunity to ask him a few questions regarding his policy. Thank you for taking the time to answer some questions from your constituents, Mr. Davis. The first question I have is about the 44 and a half thousand of your constituents that depend on various parts of the ACA to maintain health insurance coverage. If the ACA is repealed, they will lose access to the vital health care they need. How are you going to help them keep their coverage? I understand you have put a bill forward to help those that would lose their insurance due to pre-existing conditions. But upon closer inspection, it seems that the bill can't work without the individual mandate, something you support eliminating. We can all agree that the ACA isn't perfect, but undermining the goal of affordable insurance for all won't help anybody. How are you going to help people to afford their insurance after they are herded into high-risk pools, which is what will happen under the Congressional Better Way plan you support? Thanks. It has been estimated that simply repealing the ACA will cost taxpayers about $350 billion. How can you justify taking someone's tax money and effectively using it to take away the insurance they so desperately need? You continually spread the lie that federal money pays for abortions via Planned Parenthood. This has been proven false time and again, yet you use this lie to justify eliminating federal funding. Uninsured women depend on Planned Parenthood to get the care that they need. If the ACA gets repealed, women will depend even more on the vital health services that Planned Parenthood provides. What would you like the women that depend on Planned Parenthood now and in the future to know about your plans to help them? In a recent interview, you referred to your constituents, us, as the opposition party. How do you arbitrarily decide what constituents you listen to and don't listen to? You admit that our district is always close to 50-50. Your job is to represent us, the entire district, not just the percentage that agrees with you. It, what if some of your voters' views change? Will you ignore them too? Thank you for your time, and thank you for answering my questions. As someone who lives, works, and pays taxes in your district, I truly appreciate having a representative as forthcoming and approachable as you.